Uh, all right. So that's we're done shopping today. Yes. It's time for backlog, 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 backlog. Guys. Welcome to the backlog. What's the backlog? The backlog is a segment of this show where we go through our entire game collection. Every game we've ever bought gets put into an Excel spreadsheet. And today we're going to pick a game at random and talk about it regardless of whether or not we've played it. We're up to nine what now? 900 and uh, 959. We got some crap from uh, our, our buddy Jake about how we don't have enough games. Yeah, he's got, I forgot what he said he had. He's got like <laughs> well over a thousand, maybe like close to 2,000. Uh, you know what? I agree. We should have more games. Yeah. <laughs> he's also counting like, you know, every game in his uh, NES Classic and like. We have taken some out. Yeah, we've like tried to like call it because there was a lot of like crap and nonsense. Also, I'm not counting all the games that come on my little handheld, you exactly, know? Like, yeah. We had mobile games for a time. We had to get yeah. rid of those because that's just too much. Yeah. Uh, also, I'm missing a lot of my Switch games. Anyway, yeah. we're up to 169, baby. 169. Nice. Uh, Fruit Ninja on the iPhone. There you go. What the fuck? I thought we got game. rid of mobile no, games. No, we didn't get rid of all the mobile games. Okay. I got rid of the ones that like I haven't even put like even 20 seconds in. But like okay. Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja's big everybody's deal. Everybody's played Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja rules. <laughs> It's I'll a, allow it. I'll allow for ninja. It's such a simple game. It's a classic game. It's an iconic game. You're a ninja and you slice up fruit. I don't remember it looking like this. Yeah, that's the thing. Like Fruit Ninja <laughs> was like one of the early iPhone games that were like was like really very popular. very early in the beginning. Yeah, uh, it's one of the one of those games that like blew up along with like Angry Birds they, and cut the rope. They gotcha fight this game this yeah. gameplay That's... is from neo gaming it's from five years ago oh jesus uh but man it did not look like this when i no. played it it was literally just the game opens and you're cutting fruit this yeah. is you got a guy talking to you you got dialogue trees yeah. you got uh it, that's really just a tutorial it's not a dialogue tree but it looks like there's like it looks like a mobile game now yeah it looks like a modern mobile game where they want you to you know buy he spins or whatever. yeah which this which, is the game that yeah. i know and it's this is a really good like use of a phone a smartphone gameplay because like you just see fruit come up and you just swipe at it with your finger it seems simple enough anybody can do oh, it but then you get a bomb but then and you, you get can't bombs thrown in and then they throw lots of fruit at you and you have to slice up all the fruit you can't really miss any fruit and you have to avoid the bombs while you do it. So it's one of those good types of puzzle games where it starts off easy, but then slowly and slowly like gets harder and harder and harder. And you have to perfect your techniques and like try to avoid all the obstacles that are in there. It's fun. It's a good time. It's a nice distraction. It's what a cell phone game honestly should be. It's uh, extremely simple, but it was a great. Ooh, I've never seen that before. Oh, I saw, I've seen those. The, the multi hits. Okay. I didn't That's know it fun. zoomed in like that. Because you just go all out on your phone. You just go fucking yeah. So this was a great showcase of how games could work well on an iPhone touch screen. Yes. This, this is this is clearly to showcase the how a touch screen worked. Because yeah. even back in the day when iPhones were uh, new, uh, people kind of didn't like touch screens. Yeah. Because at the time you had the, the, the popular touch screens you had were like the DS and using yeah. that with your finger sucked. Mm -hmm. That's why I came with a stylus. Uh, but iPhone kind of nailed it. And uh, people were, I was one of them. I did not want a touch screen keyboard. Yeah. I, I was like, I need a physical keyboard. Uh, but then I got used to it just right. like everybody else. And I, and I think with a game like Fruit Ninja, you know, it designed its gameplay around the touchscreen. Yeah. To this day, we see so many games trying to, like, emulate the console style of gameplay on a touchscreen with, you know, virtual buttons and whatnot. And it just doesn't work the same way, whereas this is a game that actually uses the hardware to its advantage. Yeah, I think having... I, I think... We like mobile games. Yeah. Well, some people think that mobile games aren't games. I think that mobile games are just fine. They just yeah. have to be good at home <laughs> on a mobile platform. Yeah. Like just having controller buttons usually doesn't like touch screen controller buttons usually doesn't work. This only works because uh, 
you swipe your finger on a touchscreen. Yeah. This would only work on a touchscreen. This would not work on a console. Well, funny you say that because apparently there's a PS4 version. PS4. Four. Four. Ah, touchpad. It touchpad, but like the whole <laughs> thing is like you you swipe at the fruit that you see. And like you can see the fruit on the screen, so you hit it with your finger. But like you you don't see the fruit on your VR. It's a VR game. Oh, it's a VR game? Oh, never mind. <laughs> that, I mean that makes sense. It does. It's it, like there's a also more sense. arcade versions. There's of arcade the game, versions, which yeah. is just a giant touch screen. Yeah. There's a Kinect version for the Xbox 360. It's probably the same as this. Probably the same as that, yeah. yeah. Uh, we were talking about adapting uh, controls to a touchscreen. Mm -hmm. A game that I think does it really well is uh, Downwell. Yeah. Because that's already vertical. Mm -hmm. It's a vertical game. And it only has left, right, and one button. And touchscreens only work if there's only two buttons that you press at one time. Mm -hmm. And having three buttons total is like the most that you can get away with. Yeah. That works really well. Uh, this works well because, again, you're swiping, and that's what you do on an iPhone. You yeah. swipe. So th th they were like, I'm going to swipe on this thing. We're going to make a whole game around it. Yeah. And there's other, you know, games that I think are at home on a touch screen. I think, like, you know, like the old, like, LucasArts type of, like, uh, point-and-click games. Yeah, those yeah. Are, I would rather play those on a touch screen than on a console with a controller. Yeah. You know? Uh, so... Classic, classic iPhone yes. game we have here, Fruit Ninja. I don't know if I would recommend it now. It looks like, uh, it looks like they they did some shit to it. Yeah, I don't. God, I haven't. I honestly haven't played this game in a long time. It came out in 2010, so it's a 14 year old game. Of, I definitely played this on my 2010. 2010. When did I get an iPhone 3G? I got it when it 2009, came out. right? Really? Yeah. That late? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I definitely play this on my iPhone 3G. Yeah. So, back then, it was great. Yeah. Uh, and, I, like, honestly, like, if you were to get it now, I'm sure there's still fun to be had with it. But just be prepared to, like, dodge get ads some, and microtransactions, yeah. and which stinks because that's what, like, all iPhone games seem to be nowadays. Hold up. Yes. Hold up. We, they're new development. I'm listening. I looked it up on the uh app on the i at the Apple store. Yeah. The whatever app store. it's called now. The app store. Uh you got Fruit Ninja. Yes. R. With the little, you know, the copyright symbol. Yeah. Then you have Fruit Ninja Classic, different game. <laughs> then you have Fruit Ninja 2. There's a sequel. Yes. Never knew that. With a, <laughs> this time is personal. So, what the hell's Fruit Ninja Classic? I don't know. Apparently, I have downloaded both Fruit Ninja and Fruit Ninja Classic because I got the little cloud symbol there. Mine just says get. Get means you haven't ever downloaded it. Really? But get means it's free. Free to play, yeah, I they're should all, say. They're all free to play. Yeah. And they all say in-app purchase. I definitely had... I definitely played these. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe I had a different account. But what is the difference between Fruit Ninja and Fruit Ninja Classic? Actually, I gotta be honest. Fruit Ninja Classic looks like, but now I'm now I'm. It's taking me back. Right. This is the menu that I remember. It's literally just play the game or yeah. don't play the game. Oh, right, so under Fruit Ninja Classic, mm -hmm. the uh, in-game purchases are Half Brick, which is the company that made it. It's like a subscription to their like membership or whatever. Like, what is that? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. This is more like I remember. And honestly, this looks uh, worse <laughs> than, 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 than the new version. So I don't know. What do we call? Are we calling this the backlog for Fruit Ninja Classic? Because that's the one that we had, but they kind of re-released it and renamed it. Let's just say it's the backlog episode for Fruit Ninja and let you decide which one See, it is. I remember the little old guy. Yeah. That's this is the Fruit Ninja I remember. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching the backlog everybody. <laughs> Check out Fruit Ninja. <laughs> it, it it's fun. It's fun it's game. It's fun. Fun game. There's yeah. a million games like it now. I yeah. Think. Uh, thanks for watching. Hey, you should come to a podcast every once in a while over on youtube.com slash wolfden podcast. Um, bye. Bye. Not you podcast listeners. You yeah, stay. you're stuck with us.